Good morning, good morning, and happy Wednesday. I pray that you are doing well today. It is going to be beautiful here today, so I'm excited for a nice day. And um, and it should be good most of the rest of the couple days now, too. So that is always good to know. I hope you're good today. Let me know who is here this morning before I get started. Uh, let me check to see if I'm on the right spot. Uh, here we go. All right, here we are. Okay, good to see you this morning. Let's start right away with our verse for this morning. We use the bless method here. That is what I was able to come up with when I realized I was using the same type of um, system every single day when I was doing my journaling. And I realized that I could actually follow the same system. And it really helped me understand the verses a little bit better. So I came up with an acronym for it. And I call it BLESS, B-L-E-S-S. -S. The B stands for the Bible verse or the scripture that we give you every day that you can use to strengthen your faith. The L stands for listening to God's word, praying for his guidance. The E stands for exploring the history and the meaning of the word, who wrote it, when, and to what audience. I love that part. I love learning more about who wrote each scripture every day. The S stands for studying and savoring the different keywords that are available. Excuse me. <laughs> and then the second S stands for summarizing it and just a little devotional about what is going on in the scripture. All right. Good morning, Melinda. How are you? Oh, let me see here. I got to check to see who, who, who said they love the blessed method. Let me see who's on this morning. I can't see in the comments all the time. There you go, Cynthia. How are you, girl? <laughs> Cynthia is one of my very best friends who is uh, also has a, a, a business as well. <laughs> all right. So today's scripture verse is we're in Proverbs today, Proverbs 1, 5. And it says, let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, please, I ask that you help me to have ears open always to your word and to those that are wiser than I am to help um, give me guidance in every way that I can possibly learn. I know that I should never stop learning, Lord, and I pray that you help me remember that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so... The history, the book of Proverbs is a collection of these wise sayings and teachings, and most of them are credited to King Solomon, who is believed to have written uh, almost all of the book. However, the book also contains contributions from many other different authors as well. We aren't sure of the exact date that the, of the writing of the Proverbs, but it's most likely would have been compiled and edited over several different centuries, uh, probably between the 10th and the 5th century B BC before Christ was even born. The book was likely written for a general audience with the aim of giving wisdom and guidance to all of the readers. So overall, it's a call to humility and a recognition of the importance of learning continuously and seeking guidance from others. It is such a popular and influential verse throughout history, and it inspires so many readers to seek wisdom and knowledge throughout their lives. So what are the key words? The key words in this verse, first, of course, is wise. What does it mean to be wise? Well, that means that you've gained knowledge and understanding through experience and learning. Hearing. What does hearing mean? It means to actually listen and pay attention to what's being said with the intention of understanding and learning from it. Increase, that word means to grow or expand in knowledge, understanding. And then learning refers to the process of actually acquiring knowledge through studying, practicing, or experience. So this verse reminds us of the importance of always seeking guidance and learning from those who are wiser than we are and discerning what that means. We are faced with so many choices and decisions every single day. So many of them can have such an important, significant impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. So it is crucial 
crucial to seek guidance and wisdom when we're making important decisions. Now, one way that we can use this verse today is by seeking out mentors or advisors who have experience in the areas where we're lacking or we don't have any expertise in them. We can read books, we can check out articles, we can attend seminars, workshops, anything like that, even podcasts and watching videos that provide guidance on topics that we're interested in or that we need to learn for our jobs, for our businesses or whatever. And at the same time, it's important to remain humble and open-minded, recognizing that we do not have all the answers and we can always learn something new. And by listening to the advice of others and adding to our own knowledge and understanding, we can make more informed and wise choices in our lives. So if you are struggling with making a decision or learning something, don't be afraid to reach out and try to learn more about it so that you can make wise decisions about whatever's happening in your life. Amen. Amen. Good morning. We got Hope on and Rana. How are you guys? All right. So the Bible cross references, all four of these are additional Proverbs. Proverbs 1 5 says, Let the wise hear and increase in learning, and the one who understands obtain guidance. We have Proverbs 1 7, Proverbs 9 10, and Proverbs 12 1. All of those are wonderful Proverbs as well that help us learn all about being wise and making wise choices. All right. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, ladies. I appreciate it. If you're watching this on replay, type in replay so that it get bumps a little bit further up into the top and we will see you tomorrow. Have a very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.